Peace and welcome to our Top 10 Shmup Themes in Video Games. To avoid any confusion, we will be using the Wikipedia definition of shoot 'em up games. We will not be including light gun games such as Virtua Cop and run and gun games such as Contra. Those will have their own Top 10 list. We will be including fixed and multi-directional shooters, tube and rail shooters, cute 'em ups, scrolling shooters, as well as bullet hell games. Last thing I want to mention is the fact we are primarily a console gaming channel, so if you don't see your favorite PC game, that would be why. Besides that, we will limit it to one theme per franchise. With that being said, let's get this underway. First up is from Super R-Type, the Stage 1 theme known as Solo Sortie. There were three composers for this game. Sometimes it's difficult to find who arranged and composed each individual track. Video game themes aren't always the most cataloged thing in the world. Coming from the Super Nintendo, it was well received. Entertainment Weekly picked it as the second best game of 1991, which is pretty high praise when you consider some of the other games that came out that same year. There's a long list of good games. And if you're curious to what game they chose as the best game of 1991, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Anyways, back on topic. If you haven't heard this theme before, I recommend the bass solo as well as the piano solo. You will not be disappointed. Our number nine spot comes from Truxton, aka Tatsujin. Titled Far Away, here is the Stage 1 theme. The original composition is by Masahiro Yuge for the arcade version of the game. You can also find it on the Genesis, but the version we chose today comes from the PC Engine. Arranged by Shotaro. In my opinion, the Genesis and the Arcade both don't even come close to this version. The PC Engine, known as the TurboGrafx-16 in the States, can produce some fantastic sounds and this is a good example. The console uses an 8-bit processor despite the 16 in its name. And the audio runs at 5 to 10-bit stereo PCM. It does have some signs of compression, but when you drop the bit rate to 5 or 10, that's gonna happen. Besides that, it's a top tier theme and might be even higher if there was less compression artifacts. Number 8 is from Air Zonk. The Stage 2 theme, titled Brainstown. Another TurboGrafx-16 theme made our list, and it does suffer from the same compression artifacts as our previous TurboGrafx entry, but the music is good enough that it's still qualified easily. Arranged and composed by Daisuke Morishima, with assistance by Hisashi Matsushita. 
Released in 1992, this is exclusive to the TurboGrafx-16, unlike a few games on our list today. I really enjoy how this one grooves, and the drums are quite clear. You don't hear drums like this in your average chip tune. Another good example of what the Turbo Graphics can produce. In at lucky number 7, we have Silver Surfer, the Stage 1 background music. A game that many believe to be below average. And I tend to agree, at least until we talk about the music. Then I must say this game excels. The music is by far the best part about the game. Arranged and composed by brothers Tim Fallen and Jeff Fallen, a talented duo that use this theme to really show off what they can do. They also show off what the NES sound chip is capable of. I really enjoy what the NES can produce sound-wise, and music like this is exactly why. If you have avoided this game because the reviews all paint a terrible picture, then I suggest you at least give the music a try. Our number 6 entry is from Zero Wing, the Stage 2 theme titled Legris. With today being all about chiptunes, how can a list be complete without that Yamaha sound chip making an appearance? done right, it's one of the more unique sound chips on the market. When done wrong, that twang can take over and ruin an otherwise decent theme. This particular theme does a great job using the twang and making it a strength, not a weakness. Number 5 comes from Thunder Force 4, the staff role theme known as Stand Up Against Myself. We have back-to-back -back entries coming from that Yamaha sound chip. There's just something about it that I like. Arranged and composed by Toshiharu Yamanishi. You may know some of his work if you have ever played Elemental Master on the Sega Genesis. The twang is evident right off the bat on this theme. It leaves no doubt which console this is from. First released in 1992 in Japan and 1993 for North America and Europe. Personally, this theme makes me think of a movie like Top Gun or maybe even Iron Eagle. Something about it screams 80s action with jet fighters and dogfights. Number 4, Toho 5. Mystic Square, the theme from Stage 3. <music> Un
Unlucky number four comes from a game that's on the PC-98. A PC that originally had no sound and later came equipped with a Yamaha YM2203 sound chip. However, you can have different MIDI controllers, so here is that same theme on the SC-88 Pro. Coming from the 1998 Shoot'em Up, this was maybe the most difficult franchise to narrow down. A lot of the other entries had two or three standouts and we just narrowed it down. However, this franchise is flooded with good music. I would say this is a good theme for a shmup game, but I don't know if any genre is bad in a shoot'em up game. Arranged and composed by Zoom, whose real name is Junya Ota, born in Nagano, Japan and one of the most underrated composers in all of gaming. If you don't know his work, I do recommend checking out his music. Our bronze entry today comes from the game Raiden Trad, the theme titled Gallantry. Like most themes we talk about, this one is featured on many different consoles. We played the Sega Genesis version, but here is that same theme from the Super Nintendo. Arranged and composed by Akira Sato. I haven't found much information on him, not even a photo. He hasn't composed for a lot of games, and his most recent one was in 1993. It's a shame there are only nine soundtracks that he produced, because I would have liked to hear more of his music. This theme just straight jams. It was also featured in Raiden 2 and Raiden DX, which is just Raiden 2 with extra modes. However, the Windows port uses Redbook Audio, so it doesn't qualify. The original arcade game uses a Yamaha YM3812 sound chip and Raiden 2 uses a Yamaha YM2151 chip, so both arcade versions qualify. In our silver position today, we have the game Space Harrier by Sega and its main theme. This one could almost be classified as a run-and-gun game, but let's be honest here. How often do you run in Space Harrier? I am flying around 99% of the time, so we decided to allow it. This is a theme that is immensely more popular in Japan than in Western countries. I think that's true with a lot of video game music, there's a huge market for it in Japan, and I think the market is growing in the Western world, but it does still have some catching up to do. Also, I can't forget to mention my favorite version of this track. It comes with vocals by Takenobu Mitsuyoshi, who you may know from Daytona USA. He has worked closely with Sega for many years. Here's a vocal version live on stream, and with the original composer, Hiroshi Kawaguchi. This is absolutely priceless. Up next, we do have some honorable mentions.
Just like many entries today, our gold position comes from a lot of different games and consoles. We have the theme of Vic Viper, also known as the beginning of history. Here is a version from Gradius on the NES. As we mentioned, this theme has been featured in a lot of different games, so we will showcase a few of them. Here's one from the Super Famicom, a game titled Jikyo Oshaberi. Next, we have Parodius Da from the Sharp X68K. The last version isn't from a shmup game, but I just wanted to get the point across of how popular the theme really is. From Legend of the Mystical Ninja on the Super Nintendo. This theme is jam-packed with nostalgia, and I like everything about it. To me, this is the definitive shmup theme, and I know many people will disagree. There are just too many shmup games for everyone to agree. Our lists are here just to share and shed light on good music and the composers that created the music we love. And that's the best part about music. Everyone has their own taste and their own favorites. So feel free to let us know some of your fave shmup themes, we will gladly check them out. And as a bonus, we will leave you with the version from Super Bomberman R Online, although this one is not a chip tune. Thanks to everyone who submitted their favorite shmup themes on the last video, we went through every single one. Don't feel bad if your favorite didn't make the cut, there were well over a thousand themes that we went through. Next up will be modern shooters, anything not limited by sound chips. For example, Redbook Audio. Last but not least, shout out to Gold Level patrons Bearsona, Quantum X, and Mr. Chris Hayes. I am ICC, thanks for watching. Peace.